Hey, babe. What are you doing? Here, brainstorm me some ideas for this movie I'm trying to write. That's great, babe. What's your story about? Well, I'm thinking of a love story. Not sure yet. Sweet. Is it about us? Hold up, my love. Let me take this call. Hello? Yes, this is Diana speaking. That's great. I would love to. Oh, um, can I have some time to think about it? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Is everything okay? Yeah, babe. Everything's okay. I got some news to share with you. Okay. What is it? It's good news and bad news. Which one do you want to know first? Well, I usually go for the bad news first, but I'm gonna think positive, so... So, what's the good news? Well, I just got off the phone with an advertising agency, and I've been hired as a full-time copywriter. What? Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh. So happy for you, baby. Mm. Thank you, babe. You deserve it. You work hard for this. Look at you, Miss Copywriter. <laughs> so when do you start? Well, here's the bad news. They want me to start right away. Okay. You call that bad news? Felix. It's in California. Well, 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 look who's still alive. What's good, bro? Come in. Yo, take off that jacket, man. What you mean, bro? You been lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look who's talking. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, keep playing dumb with me. Anyway, so how you been, man? Yeah, I've been good, man. I'm just working. Fuck, that's my motto. Typical, Alex. When the hell are you gonna settle down? I don't want no headaches. Mr. Womanizer like no other? You wouldn't trade me in for another brother. Yo, so talk to me, man. How's your summer? How's Diana? It was okay. I was writing the script, but I got stuck, so I put it on hold. As for Diana, she seems to be doing okay, uh -huh. I guess. Oh. What? This doesn't sound like too good. Is everything all right between you guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, everything is good. Okay, not everything. Man and I broke up this summer. What are, are you serious? Get out of here, what happened? She got some advertising job in California. Oh. Yeah. I'm happy that she is following her dreams. 
She has her own path to follow. She deserves that. It was tough to see her leave, knowing that I'll probably never see her again. She wanted me to go with her, but I wasn't ready to make that transition. Why didn't you come to me sooner, bro? Look, first of all, we haven't hung out in a while. And second of all, I haven't heard from you all summer. I know, man. I'm sorry. I know I haven't been a reliable friend lately. And that's fucked up. I should have been there for you. And it sucks that you have to go through all this. Yeah, it's so good, man. At least we're here getting reacquainted, right? You know it. Now that we got that out of the way, tell me about the script you was talking about. I know you're really trying to figure out what it is that you want in life. Maybe this could be it. I know you have something great and exciting going on. Something to look forward to. Yeah, but like I said, I put that on hold. Why don't you write about you and Diana? <laughs> what? Write about what you feel. Man, nothing is more beautiful than something that's coming straight from the heart. Writing is a powerful tool, bro. Use that shit to your advantage. You got your courage, y'all. Come on, this is what you've been waiting for. Felix, it's in California. California? I was waiting for the right time to tell you. I don't understand. When did this happen? For how long are you going to be gone? I'm not sure. It's a full-time job. I'm afraid it could be a couple of years. A couple of years? I have a question. Did you have an interview for this job? It was three days ago. Three days ago? <laughs> wow, are you kidding me, Diana? Three days ago? When were you planning on telling me? I haven't said yes. So wait a minute. You didn't go to California with your coworkers. You went over there for the job interview, am I right? My God, Diana. Why would you lie to me about something like that? I want the job, but I also want to be with you. You know, how do you go? Right. No, it doesn't have to be this way. Diana, get out of my way. No! Come with me to California. What? Come with me to California. I don't think so. What are you so afraid of? If you're not afraid of anything, then why won't you come with me? You want to know why? Because I'm still trying to make something of myself, all right? You already got what you want. Is that what you want to hear? Are you happy? Just go, Diana, right? But don't feed me all this bullshit, you and your lying self. Listen, I've stuck with you through thick and thin for five years. Five long years. Whenever there's a problem, we fix it. Not throw it out like it's a piece of glass. Whatever adversity we go through, we go through them together. I know I should have told you about my interview. But don't give up on us so easily. Felix, please.
Felix? Yes. Please, come in. It's so nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. And uh, this is Carl. He'll be producing the film. Felix, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Have a seat. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you so much for coming here on such short notice. I mean, what I kind of have in mind in terms of visuals and locations, I'm really excited. I think we can really bring this to life. Felix, this script is incredible. We're really excited to be working with your story, and honestly, we feel like this can turn to something great. Now, production will begin for a few months, and we'll be shooting in L.A. L.A.? Yes, that's, that's not a problem, is it? No, no. <laughs> of course not. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Martha here will be your director, and you, know, you should know it's going to be her debut, actually. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to working with you guys. We're looking forward to working with you, too. Uh, we'll be in touch with further details. Sounds good to me.